Okay, so hi everyone. So now I will explain about chapter 4, which is statically indeterminate claim trust. Okay, so for this chapter, statically indeterminate means when the numbers of unknown reactions or internal forces exceeds the number of equilibrium equations that are available for its analysis. So previous chapter 2 and 3 are focused on the statically determinate plane trust. So for this chapter, we are focused on the calculation of statically indeterminate plane trust. So most of the most most of the structure designs today are statically indeterminate. So the advantages of it is, for a given loadings, the maximum stress and deflections of an indeterminate truss uh, structure are generally smaller than statically determinate. And statically indeterminate structure tends to redistribute its load to its redundant support in case where faulty design or overloading occur. So in this case, the structure maintains its stability and collapse is prevented. But the disadvantages here is the cost is more to construct the support and joints of an indeterminate structure compared to the determinate one. And any deformation such as that caused by relative support displacement or changes in member's length caused by temperature or fabrication error will introduce additional stress in the structure which must be considered when we design the indeterminate structure. And then the type of the statically indeterminate uh, structure we have uh, basically two types. Number one is external indeterminate which is related to the extra reactions supports okay the re extra reactions and then the members of reactions of the structure exceed the number of equilibrium equations in analysis okay so if it is exceed then we need to remove the extra and then we will do the calculations by using the virtual work method and then the uh, type 2 is internal indeterminates okay related to the framework constructions and some of the framework or trusses should have an adequate members of members for stability and intentions. If the inadequate numbers of members were detected, the structure is classified as unstable. Okay? If the redundant member of the member were determined, the structure is classified as statically indeterminate. If it is inadequate, not enough, then it is unstable. But it is redundant, means more than enough. Okay? Then it is classified as indeterminate. Okay, so look at this example to prove the trust is statically external indeterminate. Okay, so you can see member now you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So you have 7 members. Reaction force you have uh, 1 pin joint, 2 reactions, 1 roller joint, uh, 1 roller support. So you have uh, 1 reaction here. And you have one another one roller support means or another uh, the reaction here. So you have one, two, three, and four, four reactions. And you have five joint, which is one, two, three, four, and five joint. So M plus R equal to eleven. Two J is ten. So eleven is greater than ten. Eleven is not equal to ten. So now the trust is statically indeterminate with one degree of determinacy. Because R is greater than 3, so it's externally indeterminate. Mean that, means that in this uh, trust, we have extra 1 uh, support and it, it's become the indeterminate type. So, you can practice by yourself by using this A, B and C to determine and also this D and E. Please practice it. Okay, so let's go to the analysis of print trusses with external redundant external redundant normally is uh, we have the extra support reactions okay so look at this truss it is uh, statically indeterminate with external redundant means here that we have one extra reaction support area okay then since the truss is external statically indeterminate choose one plus the support reaction to be redundant okay and then it must satisfy two conditions so one Number one, it must be statically determinate after you remove that reaction support B. Number two is it must be stable. So for this example, you cannot remove the uh, horizontal, the, you cannot re remove the support of uh, A because 
you need to have the support from the horizontal reaction uh, direction to make it stable make this truss stable horizontally and vertically okay so the best choose uh, the best option is you choose the support b because if you remove this support reaction you will still have support from a and c vertically and horizontally so analysis of print trust then we continue with when the reaction support B is removed there will be vertical deflections at B so later we will have a vertical deflection at B so the trust type now is determinate then we need to find the member force F prime okay after we remove it then it become like a normal statically determinate trust then we will start with the normal procedure okay we will determine again the M plus R equal to 2J and then we will calculate the RA and then the RC directions at uh, A for the horizontal and vertical uh, reactions and then the C for the vertical reactions and then we will carry on by calculate the member force for each of the members caused by the external load. After that, okay, we will calculate just uh, similar to the previous uh, chapter 3, okay, then the one unit load is applied at B. So now this uh, place removed, then we will put the one kilonewton here, okay, and then find a new member force. So we will need to use the uh, equation from previous also, we will have to find the uh, F U L over A E, and then now we have a U, uh, the F mu L over A E over by mu power of 2L over AE. The total of it will become this reaction force RB. Okay, So F equal to F prime plus RB mu. Okay, So for this example, you can see that proof the truss is externally statically indeterminate. Then determine the reaction force, internal forces of the truss. And then the modulus of elastic Elasticity of each member is constant. Mean, mean, means now we don't need to get the E. E will remain in the constant value. Okay. So here R A R G and R B. You have 30 kilo newton at hash, uh, and F F and then F D. You have 40. Okay. So this one. Okay. Next, you will have to find. You will remove the support at G, and then you will calculate the support reaction. You will get 40 going upward, 60 going upward. And then you get all the member forces by using the alternative method. Okay. And then after that, okay, you will place one unit load at the support G. Okay. And then you will again you will calculate the support reaction force at A and E. And following by using the alternative method to calculate all the member forces. Okay. Okay, so after you calculate the F and the mu, so now we will proceed to uh, make this table and then get the value of reaction G and then we will get the final F for each member. Okay, so you will input the value of L on A and then you get L over A from this and then you will put in the value from F for the first calculations. Okay, for each member, okay, tensions is for positive and then compression is in negative and then the mu from the one unit uh, load that you apply and then the other members you put into it and then you generate the equations, you calculate the F, U, L over A. Okay, then you calculate this. Don't be careless with the negative and positive, remember. And then you calculate the mu power of 2L over L A. Then you get this. Okay, then after you get this uh, F, U, F mu L over A and mu power of 2L over A, then you will get the reaction force at G. So RG is equal to total of this value over total of this value. So you get RG is equal to negative 56 kilonewtons means that it's going moving upward okay moving upward negative 56 point and that is negative 56 kilonewton okay and then you will get f is equal to f plus ru so this the f for each member is equal to uh, f is 50 okay plus this negative 56 times 0.625 so 50 times neg 56 and uh, negative 56 times 0.625 is equal to 15 
okay so each of the member you will calculate this and then calculate f plus r or r g u then you will get the value for all of this okay so then you put into it you can see it now the value okay r a and then the reaction g you get the force here and then the rb here and then all the internal member forces so this is it for the example for the external redundant calculations okay then we will move to the plan trust with internal redundant Okay, so for this analysis of plane trust with internal redundant, okay, we can see that the trust have one redundant member and classified as statically indeterminate plane trust to the first degree. So now you can see that this uh, support reaction is 3. Okay, so that when you make the equation of M plus J, M plus R equal to 2J, you will have extra one uh, internal member. Okay, so that one is our uh, first degree of indeterminacy. So what we have to do is the trust those have internal redundant member can be can be determined by using the same concept of external redundant member. Actually, the mem uh, the form uh, the kind the equation uh, the calculation is similar to external redundant member. Okay, x is still using the same question equation negative total f prime u l over a e over uh, total of u power uh, the mu power of two l over a e and then the f is equal to f prime plus x times mu okay so okay you can see the analysis the this is the example okay so extra trust you can see that this is uh, trust with one extra members here okay so you will you make it to become the real force you remove the extra members here okay and then you replace with the virtual one you are uh, unit load at this removed member okay when you calculate so it's the real force plus the virtual forces mu at the redundant member so let's look at the example okay so this is the example classify the trust below and determine the internal forces the modulus of elasticity e of each member is constant means that here also the e is constant Okay, so what we have to do here, you can see that this is A to D and then you have uh, two forces F, F, E, B, C. Okay, after you calculate the M plus R equal to 2J, you will, uh, you will, uh, you will get that one member is uh, extra. So this means that you will need to use, uh, remove it and then replace with one unit load. Okay, so the, you, the, this trust is internal statically indeterminate. So after we remove it, it will become like this. We remove the member at here. So the real force is you calculate by using this trust. And then you will calculate the support at A for H uh, horizontal and vertical reactions. And then D for the vertical reactions. And followed by you calculate all the member force for all these members. And then after that, we will proceed to calculate again. We remove the forces applied and then we will apply one unit load at here. And then we will calculate all the member forces again. And then we will use the equations to calculate the reactions uh, force. And then we will uh, direction force and then we will get the new F for each member. Okay, find the force force real force f eliminate the member fc we already eliminate and then you calculate it you will get this answer okay i have prepared another videos uh, hands-on videos on how to calculate it okay you can refer to that videos that i also provided in the google classroom okay so now i will skip it so after you calculate the reaction force you will get the internal member forces too okay and then don't forget about the uh, the direction of the tension and compressions okay tensions is in positive compressions is in negative and then you will calculate the in uh, determine the virtual forces mu and the internal forces caused by the vertical virtual unit load one kilonewton so you apply the one kilonewton at here and then you will get the loading for this uh, the member forces caused by this virtual force the mu Okay, then again, same thing. Okay, you will list the L, 
the length, the area, L over A, and then the F from the uh, real force, and then the mu from uh, the, the value of mu for each member from the virtual work. Okay, and then you will just calculate the F mu L, F mu L, L over A, and then the mu power of 2 L over A. Okay, and then after this, the total of this you will use to calculate this. Okay, so the X is in positive because negative and negative 2700 uh, 2, over 1248, you will get 2.16 kilonewton. You will get positive, mean that the value is in the tensions. So F is equal to this F 15 plus, and plus this value of X times the mu. So 2.16 times mu is zero, is 0, so 15 plus 0, you will get 15. So you will also carry on and then to calculate the forces for each member. So this is the final forces for each, redund uh, each member. Okay, so thank you for watching these videos and there are another two videos that show you use the hand-on hands-on method calculation for the external and internal redundant uh, members okay so thank you